Hello everyone. Today we're gonna learn about energy from Cambridge Primary Science Lena's book four. Unit two: Energy. Two point one: Energy around us. Energy is all around us. Energy is everywhere around us. Living things have energy. We get our energy from the food we eat. We use this energy to move, grow, breathe, and carry out all our other life processes. Non-living things also have energy. For example, there is energy in moving air that makes a wind turbine turn. There is also energy in light, heat, and sound. Light, heat, and sound are forms of energy. Movement is also a form of energy. Questions number one: Look at the pictures. Where is the energy in each picture? Question number two: What type of energy does each picture show? So let's see the pictures together and answer the questions together. Picture number one: What do you see? The flag is moving in the wind, which is an example of kinetic energy, the energy of motion. Picture number two: What do you see? The kettle on the stove is heating water, so. Is demonstrating heat energy. Let's look at the picture number three. What do you see? The plant is using light energy from the sun for photosynthesis, a process that converts light energy into chemical energy for growth. Let's look at the picture number four. The tram produces sound energy when it's hit, causing vibrations that create sound waves. Picture number five: The bird is eating a worm, which provides it with chemical energy from food. This energy is then converted into kinetic energy for the bird to fly and move. What is energy? We know that everything has energy. We can't always see energy, but we can observe the things that energy does. Energy makes things move. All moving things have energy. Energy also makes things change. For example, a moving ball can break a window. We can think of energy as anything that can cause movement or carry out an action. We need energy for everything we do. Think like a scientist. Demonstrate what energy does. You will need a ping pong ball or piece of paper crumbled into a ball. So here I don't have a ping pong ball, so I will use a piece of paper, crumb it into a ball. Flick the ping pong ball with your finger. What happens? Why do you think this happens? Use the word energy in your answer. Predict what will happen if you flick the ball harder. Remember. A prediction is what we think will happen based on our knowledge and experience. Flick the ball. Was your prediction correct? Say why you think this happened. Question number one: Which objects in the antipode had energy? Say how you know this. Question number two a. In the activity, which things did energy change? Question number two b. 
How did the things change when you added more energy? Question number three. Suggest a way in the activity that you could show that moving air has energy. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Bye bye.